Today, we're taking a look at the classic Point Break movie, one of my favorite movies of all time. Of course, I'm talking about the original movie from 1991, featuring Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze, and not the remake from 2015, although it grew on me. But first things first, this video may contain spoilers about the movie, so if you haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend you go watch it and enjoy it, even if you're not a surfer or a bank robber for that matter. Then, come back and watch this video to learn 13 things you didn't know about Point Break movie. Surf's up ace. Daydreaming about the movie. Point Break is no Academy Award script, but it's still interesting to know how the idea of this movie came up. Producer Rick King came up with the idea for the movie and he was sitting and chilling on the beach and basically daydreaming. He was thinking about an article he was given from LA Weekly that named Los Angeles as the robbery capital of America. While pondering this article, he came up with the idea for the movie and the story of an undercover FBI agent joining a gang of surfers who rob banks for the thrill of it. The original title of the movie. The movie had a different title to it originally and wasn't called Point Break. Keanu Reeves was the first to be casted for the movie and so the original title was actually Johnny Utah after the character he portrays. However, the studio was worried that this title didn't indicate that the movie was about surfing. And so, the producers came up with another title for the movie, and now it was called Riders on the Storm, after the classic song by The Doors. But, since the lyrics had no bearing on the plot, the studio declined this title for the movie as well. Eventually, the title that was chosen for the movie halfway through shooting was Point Break, due to its connection to surfing. Thank you for choosing to watch our video. If you enjoyed it so far, please like and subscribe to support our channel. We truly appreciate it. You can also hit the bell icon and get notified when we upload new videos to the channel. Now, let's continue. Patrick Swayze, Skydiver. We've just mentioned Keanu Reeves was the first to be casted in the movie, but it was actually Patrick Swayze who initially auditioned to play the role of Johnny Utah before being cast as Bodhi. At that point, Swayze was already an avid skydiver, but the producers wanted him to stop skydiving during the filming for insurance purposes. They negotiated with him and eventually allowed Swayze to do one skydive for the film. As it turned out, he ended up doing no less than 55 jumps for the movie. On top of that, he still participated in skydives throughout the movie's shoot without the producers knowing a thing about it. Gary Busey plays the role of Agent Angelo Pappas, said that Swayze was so into skydiving that he pestered him into joining him for one jump after filming was complete. Studying FBI Agents During his preparation for playing the role of Johnny Utah, Keanu Reeves studied real FBI agents on the job. He also trained with quarterback coaches at UCLA before shooting the football scene in the movie, because according to the script, Utah was supposed to have had a shot at the NFL as a professional football player. In the movie, Johnny Utah suffered a knee injury which shut down his NFL career hopes, while in real life, Reeves' professional hockey career was shut down by his own knee injury. There was supposed to be a sequel. Before the movie hit theaters, 20th Century Fox planned to release a sequel in the summer of 1993. The script was already written and the movie even went into pre-production. However, after the movie's respectful but modest $90 million box office gross, the studio decided to scrap the sequel, doing a lot of his surfing stunts. Patrick Swayze hadn't used a stunt double for car chases or fight scenes in previous movies and because of that he refused to use a stunt double for a lot of his surfing scenes in Point Break. And so, Swayze shot a lot of the surfing scenes in the movie by himself which caused him to crack 4 ribs. However, he did in a double for the more technically challenging scenes like the 50 year storm sequence at the end. For these scenes, he was doubled by famous big wave surfer Derek Dorner, who was originally cast to play Johnny Utah. We've mentioned earlier that Patrick Swayze auditioned for the role of Johnny Utah, which eventually went to Keanu Reeves, but who was originally cast to play this role? Believe it or not, but it was Matthew Broderick, yes, Ferris Bueller, who was originally cast to play Johnny Utah, and before Keanu Reeves was cast in the role, the producers even considered Willem Dafoe, Johnny Depp, 
Val Kilmer and Charlie Sheen for the part. Michael Bean, star of The Terminator and Aliens, said in an interview that he was once in talks to play the role of Bodhi, but those talks fell through. The fight scenes. Second unit director and star and coordinator Glenn R. Wilder held fight training sessions for the cast on weekends because director Catherine Bigelow warned the actors to do their own fights on screen without stuntmen. Anthony Kiddies, lead singer Fred Hot Chili Peppers, was allegedly the only cast member that missed this training, and so Wilder decided that his character would be knocked out with one punch during the first fight sequence in the movie that takes place at Latigo Beach. The Ex-Presidents In the movie, the members of the Ex-Presidents are killed in chronological order of when their respective president served in office. Throwing the FBI badge At the end of the movie, we see Utah throwing away his FBI badge to the water. This was previously done in two other movies, which are Dirty Harry from 1971 and High Noon from 1952. Learning to surf The main characters of Point Break are surfers, yet none of the cast knew how to surf before making the film. Keanu Reeves, Patrick Swayze and Lori Petty all trained and learned how to surf with former world-class professional surfer Dennis Jarvis in Hawaii before shooting of the movie began. Jarvis was even quoted saying, Patrick said he'd been on a board a couple of times, Keanu definitely had not served before and Lori had never been in the ocean in her life. As for the characters of Gormit and Nathaniel, who are part of Bodhi's crew, the ex-presidents, they are actually played by professional surfers turned actors who Jesse Christopher and John Philbin. Utah, get me too. Point Break co-star Gary Busey plays the role of FBI agent Angelo Pappas and in the movie he keeps his feet on the ground, doesn't get wet and basically lets his mouth do all the work. Director Catherine Bigelow had no problem with that as the actor's most famous line in Point Break was actually ad-libbed. In the script, Pappas is supposed to ask Johnny to go buy him a meatball sandwich and that's it. However, Busey was so taken with this that he yelled after Reeves, Utah! Get me too, which was totally improvised and not part of the script. This has become the most frequently quoted line of Busey's career. The final scene of the movie. The climax of Point Break is set sometime after the main events of the film when Johnny Utah finally tracks down Bodhi at Bells Beach, Australia. However, it seems that this final scene of the movie was shot around six months after the rest of principal photography had wrapped. This is why Reeves' hair is so much longer as in the meantime, he was shooting the movie Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, which required him to have long hair. Swayze, meanwhile, has noticeably shorter hair, as he had cut it for his role in the 1982 drama City of Joy. Though the scene is set in Australia, Point Break's final scene was actually shot at Ecola State Park in Oregon. Thank you for watching! What is your favorite moment in Point Break? Let us know in the comments! Reminding you to like our video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to support our channel, we truly appreciate it. Also, hit the bell icon and get notified when we upload new videos to the channel. Have an awesome day!